and perched here about 14 meters above a beautiful air tributary. Well, I say beautiful, the water quality is excellent, the channel is mostly natural, but as you see, when we fly along the beck, there are virtually no trees, so it's incredibly exposed to potential warming, and actually it's heavily grazed on both sides, so the banks are quite heavily poached. You can see the influence of fine sediment ingress, and the channel is mostly overly wide. There are very few features within the channel itself which actually focus flow uh, and per perhaps provide the sort of sorting of substrate that we would want to see to make it ideal for salmonid spawning habitat. There's good gravel in the system but it's just scattered all over the place. So apart from a very few locations where everything coalesces to form the perfect sort of mosaic of habitat, it's a beck that could do with some help. But anyway, I'm up here with the express permission of the landowner to look for trout reds. Uh, it might be a tiny tributary, but there are some enormous trout that use it for spawning. Uh, we're talking fish probably between five, eight, maybe even ten pounds that are spawning in this little tributary. So we're looking for disturbances in the gravel, the nests or reds that these trout make over winter, and within those mounds of gravel, the eggs will be baking low and slow. So as we set off up the beck, the lower part is quite featureless, and there's not much clean gravel at the bottom, but boom, you can see emerging at the top of the screen there, a very large red at the sort of rejoining of the two uh, parts of the channel split upstream and reconvene uh, at that point and as we go around the bends here you can see there's a few scratchings by smaller trout maybe making some smaller nests there's a whopping great gravel bar disturbed by big trout so a red there and an even larger one upstream now about mid-screen overlaying uh, an older red and progressing further upstream, another enormous red coming into view. So this one here is about two meters long, maybe even longer, and there's a older red in the deeper water below, which has been overcut by the look of it. A few scratchings as cleaner gravels by smaller trout in a few locations, but otherwise not much activity in this particular reach. One red coming into the center of view now, and then a bit quiet towards the top end here. So when you see them, you can really tell that a big trout has been causing some serious disturbance on the bed there, creating a hollow, pushing the gravel slightly downstream. The eggs will be laid in the hollow, fertilized by an attendant male in that hollow, and then the female will move upstream and beat her tail again to push gravel down onto those fertilized eggs. And yes, as I said, hopefully they'll be baking low and slow within the gravel somewhere.